have a bit of a problem uh, housing a smaller rescue paku with other fish because of their aggressive nature as you might have seen from my pre previous videos they tend to bite tank mates bite their fins harass them they're very smart very agile so I'm uh, banking on their agility and smarts to see if they're able to survive in this 4500 gallon with the, with the jumbos with all the red tails and piraiba and jiao and parun sharks it's an experiment i don't know if it's going to work out but again i'm hoping their agility and high iq will allow them to keep away from from the big hungry mouths nobody's hungry here anyway uh, when was that um, two days ago they were fed very well but this Jiao catfish the boss of the tanks Azula in the last 15 minutes or so he's been the most active trying to chase a little Paco and take a test bite to see what they are I'm hoping it's just the territorial thing. This is his tank. Zazula is the boss. He's the alpha of the tank. Everybody else is subordinate. So maybe that's why he's trying to determine if this new fish will be challengers. Well, right now he uh, touched this uh, black paco with his whiskers and uh, didn't bite him. So that's a good sign. We got uh, one uh, true black paco and two red belly paco in here for now. They're about, uh, I want to say, foot and a half. Maybe 16 inches. The black paco is slightly bigger, it's probably a foot and a half. But anyhow, they're tiny compared to to the old time residents of this tank. So we'll see what comes of it. So far in the first 20 minutes it's been okay. As I said, Zazula tried to, uh, just like he's coming up right now, tried to test bite them but uh, the last time as you saw he came up and uh, explored the pocket with the whiskers and didn't bite so we'll see Lucy decided to see if she can take a tasty bite out of the small paco but she's so bulky and uh, big and uh, they're so agile that they don't let it, don't let it do it. She's persistent though. The Paco's favorite mode of defense is circling. Keep circling in a tight radius, especially against the bigger predator that cannot circle at a such a small radius. And that's how they beat beat them. It's been about three or four hours. The little paqua hanging on. But the thing is, as soon as I turn the bright light off, a safari breaks out. The bigger Parun shark is trying to hunt down the Paco and get him. I turn the light back on and everything subsides. But I can't keep the bright light on at night. So I'm gonna try turning it off again and see what happens. Now Piraibu is checking them out as well.
turned off the light. This is the usual dim lighting during the day. At night I usually turn it off completely, but now with the little puckle in there, I'm gonna leave a rather strong night light on so that they could see predators approaching and stay away from them. Now the smaller Peronas decided to join in as well. See, as soon as I turn the light off, the hunt breaks out. So that's not gonna work. Doesn't look good, both Piraiba is hunt hunting. Oh, we almost got the black buckle, wow. The red tail is joining in. The black buckle is the weakest and is the primary target right now. The Jiao. That's the way they hunt. Mamma mia. Paco's missing half of the tail already. That's Piraiba. expected them to be that hungry. Tail catfish, the female. She's the most active. The two red bellies are smarter, they're staying in the middle. And they're using the tight radius trick to beat the predators effectively. But the black paco is for some reason a lot more stressed and much less capable of coping with, with the attacks. Probably because the red bellies, bellies they dominated it all this time that they would spent together. Yeah, that's pretty much over.